Good morning and welcome to Nairobi Chapel Siokimao. My name is Pastor Shadi. I'm excited this morning to share a short devotion that is going to be an encouragement uh, to you and to your family. Even as we celebrate and enjoy a beautiful week that the Lord has given, I want us to be able to put our trust and our confidence in Him because He is our firm foundation. He is the rock cornerstone. He is uh, the foundation of our lives. He is uh, the heavenly father. He is God. He is almighty. He is loving. He is good. And above all, he is your father. And I know that he is ready to take care of you even this week. Do not be discouraged. God is on your side. God is there with you even this morning. And today I want to encourage you from the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. This is what it says. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your ways, uh, your path straight. This morning I'm reminded that we need to let go uh, of our own understanding. We need to let go of our own will so that we can pick up on his will. We need to let go of our own even wisdom and understanding and pick up on God's wisdom and understanding. There are two things that I love about God. There are, there are many, but there are two that are, are really amazing uh, that I find to be very um, encouraging in every season that I find myself in. The first one is God is omniscient. And God being omniscient means that he knows what is before, what is now and what is tomorrow. That he is all knowing. That he knows everything, even the things that have not yet happened. And that encourages me that if God already knows everything and I am his child, then God will take care of me, even in those seasons that I don't know. And, and if you are in a fix right now, the one person that you need to lean on is God because God knows the way out. God knows what you need to do, how you need to do things to get out of that situation. And I, I have seen people and even my, myself, I found myself sometimes uh, trying to lean on my own wisdom, trying to lean on my own experience, trying to lean on uh, people that I know, you know. Um, and I found myself being frustrated because there are some times that those things that I thought that would uh, work, uh, they no longer work, uh, you know, in that situation uh, that I find myself in. But today I'm encouraged. That if we lean on God, that God is omniscient. And the second one is that God is omnipotent. That he is all powerful. Oh, I love that. That when God tells me to trust him and lean not on my own understanding, to trust him with all my heart, to acknowledge him in all my ways, I know that he is all powerful, that he is able, is able to change things like that because he is all powerful and if God doesn't change things I know that God being omniscient he knows the way out and today I'm reminded that we should put our trust in, in him and there are three things that demonstrate if we put our trust in him it is the things we say the things we do and the prayers we make the things we say demonstrate our confidence in God's ability. You know, the things we keep saying to people around us, you know, you find yourself in a problem or in a fix and the things that you're saying to people, it demonstrates what you believe about the power of God. It demonstrates the confidence you have in God. Do you remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and King Nebuchadnezzar? They told the king, we will not bow. You know, and our God is able to rescue us. And even if he doesn't show up, we still have confidence in him. We're still going to put our trust in him. Even if he doesn't show up. What you're saying, even right now, what you're saying, demonstrate what you believe and what your confidence is in God. The second one is what you do. Your action demonstrates your faith in God. If you have put your faith in God, it will be demonstrated by the things that you do. If you say that you have put your faith in God and you have plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Z, then I, I wonder if really, really we trust God. Because the things we do should demonstrate that we actually trust God. My friend, I remember this story that has been 
shared for many many generations of the, of the other woman with the issue of blood she believed and had faith that if only she touches if only she touches she didn't even want Jesus to talk to her she had faith in him and her action demonstrated her faith in God and the fourth one is our prayer what is your prayer do you even remember the prayers that you made last last night do you even have confidence in those prayers because there are many of us our prayer lives is full of complaining is full of you know asking is full of a lot of things is full of a, it is so self-centered that it doesn't demonstrate god in it our prayers should demonstrate what we believe about god our prayer should demonstrate our love for god that it should be an opportunity for us to interact in God and give thanks to God. I know we are starting a new week and maybe there are some things that will happen in this week and I want you to go in this week with a heart full of, you know, confidence in God even through your prayer. Pray big prayers because you have confidence. You believe in the God that you are praying to. Pray big prayers because you have confidence. Talk to people about what you believe. Talk to people about what you are planning to do. And what you say to them must demonstrate that you actually have put your trust in God. Friends, it is very easy for, for us to be discouraged. Especially in a season like we are in today. With a crisis, with a pandemic. But the things we say will demonstrate what we believe about God. The things we do will demonstrate what we believe about God. The things we pray for and the things, the how we pray, the things we pray for and how we pray, we demonstrate what we believe about God. I want to ask you, do you trust God with all your heart? Are you leaning on Him? Or are you leaning on your own understanding? Are you acknowledging Him in your ways, in all your ways, in your business? In your work, are you acknowledging him? And this morning, I want you to be encouraged. And I want you to be able to lean on him because he is a faithful God. Let people around you know that you actually have put your trust in God. Let me pray for you. Father, we are grateful for this opportunity to interact together. And my friend who is watching right now, and there are a place whereby what they have been saying hasn't been demonstrating what they trust in you. What they have been doing does not even demonstrate what they believe about you. And what they are praying for does not demonstrate that they actually believe and trust in you. Father, I pray that this will change even from now going forward. That they will say and do and pray things that demonstrate that they have actually put their faith in you. And Father, I pray, would you honor them by God making their way straight as your word has promised. And Father, I pray that when the time that they are weak and they cannot put their trust in you, Lord, would you teach them? Would you send the Spirit to help them with their unbeliefs? And Father, I bless you today. And I pray for this week, Lord. May we start this week with energy and excitement. And Lord, may you be glorified in this week. And I pray this for your glory, Lord, for the joy of our hearts, Lord. Praying for our friends who is watching. Would you go ahead of them in this week and level every mountain and fill every valley. Walk with them. Protect them. Guide them. Be their firm foundation. And by the end of the week, Lord, may you be able to come back and celebrate your goodness. I pray this for your glory and for the joy of our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. Child of God, you trust him? Then let it be demonstrated by what you say what you do, and what you pray. Otherwise, goodbye and God bless you.